Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be talking about something that I find pretty interesting. So, obviously, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of conversations taking place since the confirmation of this new world that Disney is creating with Fortnite. And what, what I actually find interesting is the basically the feedback that I'm seeing from the Fortnite side of things. Like, everyone's like, oh, Fortnite's dead. Um... Disney destroys anything it touches, blah, 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 all these type of things. But Disney has been around for a long time. And what people don't really understand is that all Disney is at this point is, is licensors. All they, they make their money from their IP. They essentially don't do anything these days. They do nothing. <laughs> like that, that, all they do is sign deals just to keep the money flowing, it, it really. So, yeah, but that's besides the point. Anyways. We're going to jump into the, the talk about Vivi and why I think this is super, super important and why I think this is actually going to be a big deal because a lot of people aren't really seeing a big connection that I see here. So that being said, well, a lot of people see it and it's some that don't. It's like people don't think, oh, why would Fortnite and, and Disney need Vivi and things like this? Now, what's interesting is if you've been keeping up with Disney and, and the CEO's interviews and things like that, he's really been pushing towards NFTs and, and the metaverse and Web3 as a whole. Obviously, Disney understands this. They understand the future. They And thanks to Vivi, they know how much money is actually in this. So at the point where you experience the money and the returns from Vivi, why would you move away from Web3? Look at... Anytime something is sold on Vivi, no matter when they created it a year ago or whatever, they're still getting paid from it. What type of idiot would not want that deal to continue going and to keep building more and more and more with the same thing implemented? It's like back in the day, Disney would sell something one time. Now they have to think and create and come up with something different. Now you can create something one time and you're going to get paid from it forever. I mean... You would have to do really bad business to not want to keep that business going. But that being said, when we're talking about the metaverse, where I think the value is, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, where I think the value is for Vivi and something that I don't believe Fortnite is going to touch at all is the fact that Vivi has these comic books and they have these statues. They have these little figures that's, that's high quality for the NFT space, but very low quality in, in comparison to Fortnite. So in reality, I don't believe that VV will be tied to Fortnite skins and things like that because Fortnite's graphics and, and Epic Games is just superior when it comes down to their design work. But what I do believe VV is good for and VV is actually perfect for is the setup where you have your comic books, you have your statues, you have all this. The way you leave this stuff sitting around your desk, that's what I believe the VV verse is going to be. Those items and stuff that you see sitting around desks and tables in people's homes uh, was posters on their wall and stuff like that. I believe that there is no reason that that Disney would not want to bring one of their other projects, Vivi, on board. It's like, think about it this way. Think about it. You got a pizza company, right? You own a pizza company. Like, is this is essentially what people are saying? You own a pizza company and then you own a box company. You can cut your costs by partnering up your box creation company with the pizza company. So now this pizza company does not have to buy pizza boxes for the, for the big, big price because now like you have a partnership going on. So now it can be beneficial. So what people are saying is essentially, oh, the pizza place, they can make their own boxes and make their own pizza. So wh what's the point of a partnership? That's essentially like, if y'all get what I'm trying to say, that's essentially what people are saying when it comes down to this deal between Fortnite and Vivi. But no, like if you have a company that specializes in one thing, why not bring a little bit of business both ways? So might have been, not, might not have been the best example, might not have been the best example. But my point is, when it comes down to Vivi and interoperability and stuff like that, that is what Web3 is about, the interoperability. So... Yes, Fortnite could easily just design some random coffee mugs and stuff like that to sit across tables. But when Disney already owns Vivi and these assets are already designed where they could be brought over into this new universe, you could put the posters on walls, you could put the statues on tables, you could do all of this stuff. Why wouldn't you partner those two companies? 
And it's the it's free promotion. You got to think about it this way. They say, oh, why would Disney and Fortnite do this? That is free promotion. You don't think Fortnite, I mean, Disney will continue to want VV stuff to sell on VV? That is promotion. Because if you bring VV stuff over into the Fortnite universe, and then you can actually interact with it, and it takes you to, oh, purchase this, purchase this NFT or purchase this item. And you can now go from Fortnite's universe to purchase something from VV straight from the Fortnite universe. Now the sales is going up on VV. Disney is going to profit from it. It's free promotion. So now check this out. Disney can now make a little bit of the profits when people buy stuff that's from Fortnite. They can make even more of the profits when people buy stuff from VV. It's like they can keep making more and more profit just by using their IP. That's what it comes down to. And that's what you have to understand. Disney is in the IP game, which means they're going to keep making deals with their IP and they want their, their stuff to sell as much as possible. It's an NFT, so it's residual income for them. They're constantly getting paid over and over and over again for this stuff. So bringing Vivi's assets over into this new universe where people can just click around and buy it whenever they want to, that is going to be massive. That's going to be huge because now Disney gets free promotion on all of their assets. If you want to buy a comic book in this world, if you want, if you want to buy a statue, if you want to buy anything, you're already covered. No matter what you do, Disney gets paid. No matter what IP asset you want to buy in this metaverse, Disney gets paid. This is why when um, Bob was in the interview, they were basically explaining, he was basically explaining how this is mainly a money play. This is mainly for the returns that they think that this is this is for Disney's bottom line. They they know that this this is going to do very very well because anything you touch like Fortnite has a massive audience. VV has has done insane sales already. And one thing that they're doing is keeping the word NFT out of things because it's unimportant. It's really is unimportant because Disney at one point in time NFT was a good buzzword to get you some sales. Now it's stupid to use the word NFT. So if you don't use the NFT and people just go on to Fortnite's metaverse and they're buying stuff from Vivi, they're buying a bunch of NFTs, but they don't have to care. And Disney never had to use the word NFT, but they're still getting paid because it is an NFT. They're gonna keep getting paid because it is an NFT. So this is all around really, really good business for Disney as opposed to Fortnite making its own stuff, which doesn't allow for more and more interoperability. And then they have some of their IP stuff just sitting around doing nothing and not making no money from it. Disney Disney is so close and locked in with Vivi that they're in all these events with Marvel and stuff like that. They're in Comic-Con. They always are at a booth with, with, with Vivi. And then if you listen to the language of the stuff that they talk about, they, the language always kind of aligns with the stuff that Vivi has said. So if you take all of this stuff into consideration, you start to realize how important VV is to this, to this whole interoperability, the whole picture, because now Disney itself is starting to move more so in alignment with what VV always said they wanted to deliver. And the VV fans can be pleased by this because even though VV isn't the one creating the Ready Player One experience, the fans of VV are still getting the Ready Player One experience. Vivi just isn't the company that's creating it. And realistically, do you want Vivi to be the one creating it? What I believe that Vivi should do at this point, because I don't ever see them competing with no gaming metaverse type of thing. What I think their world should be is a world with many games showing off some of their collectibles. It should be all about the collectibles. It shouldn't be about them trying to create Call of Duty or trying to create a Fortnite. If Disney can partner with Fortnite itself and allow Vivi's assets to be brought over and even better, allow the Omi token to be used to make these purchases throughout Fortnite, Vivi wins. Ikomi wins. So you could easily have a win-win situation like this where every everyone wins. Everyone's happy. Everyone is satisfied. And the incompetence of the team doesn't really matter as much. If VV ever delivers the VV verse, it doesn't matter because we are in the Fortnite universe. As long as they secure a deal to get these assets interoperable with the Fortnite universe, game over. I don't care if they deliver the VV verse. 
doesn't really matter. Now, obviously, yes, more Omi and stuff will be burned by people using the VV-verse. Like, it's, it's specifically designed for, you know, the, the VV, Ikomi, Omi token, like, the, the whole, this community. But at the end of the day, at the point, I'd rather have 10, 20, 100 million people seeing VV assets in Fortnite's universe than, what, 100,000 people on VV? You know? So... That being said, this is why I think this is going to be very huge. I think this is a very slept on thing. And I think that this is this is, this could potentially be a, a massive, a massive deal. Um, <clears throat> let me know what you all think. Let me know if you feel the same. Let me know if you're still not seeing, if you're still not buying it. Obviously, this is all just speculation. But <clears throat> what I do know is that when it comes down to Disney, they are in tune with the importance of web three interoperability and they've profited handsomely from this. They they've had insane profits from this. I don't see them just going back to creating regular digital assets before. So I believe that this is going to be a web three thing they're working on with Fortnite, but I believe that it is most logical for them to not announce that it's going to be web three. Just to, I want them to create something that only web three can do. <clears throat> and then people start to just see the value. That's it, the value. It's going to be value-based. People see a great experience that you can only do on Web3, and now people are in love, falling in love with Web3 without even knowing that NFTs, crypto, and all this stuff is involved. I want people to be buying stuff with the OMI token without knowing that it's a cryptocurrency, without having to care that it's a cryptocurrency. That That's what I want. I, I, I think that with the deals that's going on right now, a lot of the stuff that I question when it comes down to VV, if they can secure the right deals, their competence in these areas won't matter as much. And if this is something that they see and something that they know, I think that, that it, it, like I said, it could be a huge, a very, very huge deal. But let me know what you all think. That's pretty much it, y'all. Just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on this. Let me know how you all feel. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.